I just want to chime in on something, you know, about <coughs> your stores and things in the community. And uh, you know, when you're protective of your community, your community will be protective of you. Um, a young brother um, was beaten so severely, and it was on camera, brother um, Askia. And um, he was beaten, he was going to a Chinese restaurant to get some Chinese food, and stepped out to get some air. And the police, you know, started messing with him, you know, go, you know, get off the steps. So he said, you know, it's hot in, in the restaurant, you know, and I'm trying to get some air. Well, I'm going to have to go through all the details. He was beat up, viciously thrown in jail. And um, Chinese restaurants got cameras everywhere. So outside and inside. So, you know, when the community went to ask for the, um, the footage, and, uh, you know, he said that they, they, the cameras wasn't working that day. But let somebody go to rob it and they're working. Mm -hmm. Somebody doing something against them and it's working. Right, work. So I'm saying, you know, we're in the community. And then we also, so, you know, um, we just tell people don't go buy them what chicken wings in there. I don't, know, don't go buy them Chinese chicken wings. And you know, they show fried rice. You know, none of the stuff that they had. And, uh, you know, um, but of course, you know, nobody, they want them chicken wings and that french fried rice and all, you know. And, um, so my thing, you know, with them, you know, they're going to keep on going in and, uh, you know, we building up an argument in, in the community and, uh, you know, we pass out information about what's going on, but these motherfuckers got to give us some money. You know, we need flyers and, uh, you know, you're not just going to sit here and take from this community and do nothing. And, uh, you know, when you ask what you see, you see nothing. And, uh, you know, so, um, you know, and we wanted them to buy flyers, to put flyers in their store. And also that when people come in, and you know, to ask the question, did you see anything that happened there? Join the ISKIA Coalition Against Police Brutality. Dude said he couldn't put that in there. But he had every division of the FOP up there, uh -huh. uh -huh. FOP, Fraternal Order Police, you know, the state, the this, the that, every kind of cop thing. I don't know if y'all probably got right in y'all um, restaurant Chinese stores down here too, where they letting them know, you know, we are a part of. They said, we ain't a part of you. And, uh, you know, and raising the consciousness of the people and, uh, you know, to um, exactly who they are. So when people ride, and that goes for black folks too, because in our communities, black folks, you know, some of them, the majority of them, you know, act as if, you know, when they see issues of police brutality, well, I don't have nothing to do with that, you know, blah, blah, blah. Or don't give and be a part of what's happening, you know, when people, to stop people from rebellion, you know, rebellion and have to go to another level. And you know, when police brutality happens in our communities, the store owners are not there, you know. This is a community that you're taken away from. The people in the community have got to be responsible. And irregardless of whether they look like us, act like us, you know, you're going to give something the hell up, you know. Um, so they did wind up, you know, doing the uh, flyers, you know, uh, giving us the money for the flyers. And, you know, we did put a poster, you know, up there. It was always taken down. But we always, you know, put another one up. And had people standing there passing out information. you got to force people to be a part of this movement. Right. You know, you're not going to come in here and take money and bring, you know, your other relatives here and don't deal with uh, what's happening with us, the murders and things that's happening. So these stores have got to be made accountable as well. And uh, they go howling and screaming, you know, I know some people say, well, you know, I can go and get some credit. You ain't getting credit, you're still being robbed. That's and right. because you're that's overpaying right. for what you, you know, you get you anyway. Right. And you're robbed of your integrity by going in there. And, uh, you know, um, you know, they're not giving you anything. They're making sure that you come back. And, uh, you know, those cigarette things and, uh, you know, they make sure that they have a plenty of, because, um, you know, I didn't know what was happening with these things, with the cigars. All I know is I see people, you know, going and buying these little cigars. Everybody smoking cigars. I didn't know. But it's another form of drug penalty because I had to take the inside out and then roll it up. Right. And, uh, you know, they constantly, anything that they could do, 
and all uh, you know to go against our community. And another thing, we wasn't as crazy as the fuck we is right now. And, you know, <laughs> since we had someone else coming in and feeding us, because there was the mom and pop stores right. in our right. neighborhoods mm -hmm. that made hoagies, that made homemade soups and beans and stuff, you know, for us. And all you was at home eating. Now, since we constantly going into these places and on having our enemy, someone who do not look like us, who don't give, they see a dollar. Right. And they see also, and uh, you know, in a few more years, that house over there and that one, and uh, they're buying our homes as well, you know, and putting us out, you know, anytime, like Brother Ferguson say, when these people that come into your community and are uh, as friendly to you, and are seemingly friendly to you, you got to understand, it's your enemy. That's right. It's your enemy. And uh, from the gas station to um, the poppy stores, mm -hmm. you know, and you know, I think that everybody should, you know, like our community, which is black, well, we don't have a black community anymore. Mm -hmm. When we have, you know, it should be us feeding and right. jobs and things for us. Right. And, uh, you know, the Asian community and, uh, and even in um, the, um, the uh, Puerto Rican communities, and uh, you know, they got a whole lot of things that are just Puerto Rican. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, we don't. That's right. Mm -hmm. We got, you know, Dominicans, and I'm saying, you know, I believe that everybody's supposed to eat, and uh, but you can't eat off of us. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody talking about we want our piece of the pie, we are the damn high. Right. Everybody's taking a piece, and not only that, they're picking the damn crumbs up, they leave us nothing. Mm -hmm.